Aleluia. 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 Praise Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. It is good day again. Siku nyingine tena. We continue with our Bible school teachings. Tutaendelea na mafundisho ya chuo chetu cha Biblia. Um continuing with the biblical theology. Tutaendelea na mafundisho kuhusu theology ya Biblia. Which is all about the study of God. Inahusiana kujifunza kuhusu Mungu. We started with the existence of God. Tumeanza na uwepo wa Mungu and uh, we challenged the heretic teachings on his existence. Ah uh, tukaenda kuzungumza kinyume na yale mafundisho mapotofu kuhusu uwepo wa Mungu. And uh, we went to the nature of God. Tukaenda kwenye asili ya Mungu. And uh, we saw God is spirit. Tukaona kwamba Mungu ni roho. God is person. Mungu ni nafsi. And uh, he manifests to his people. Lakini pia anajizilisha kwa watu wake. And today we're going to start to see the attributes of God. Father God, we thank you for this good day. Baba Mungu tukushukuru kwa siku nzuri. We pray for us and we pray for all those who are watching and are following these teachings. Tomba kwa jia yetu na kwa wale wanaofuatilia masomo haya. Help each and everyone to get the real understanding on your word. Msaidie kila mmoja aweze kupata uelewa kuhusiana na neno lako. So that the eyes of their understanding may be opened. Ili kwa macho ya mioyo yao ipate kutoa nuru. So they can get the knowledge and the, and the live according to the word. Wapate maarifa na waweze kuishi kulingana na neno. Let your Holy Spirit teach us. Acha Roho wako mtakatifu atufundishe. Reveal yourself to us through scriptures. Jifunue kwetu kupitia maandiko. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go to the attributes of God. Tuende kwenye sifa za Mungu. We still continue with our biblical theology. Tuna kujifunza, tuende na masomo yetu kuhusiana na theolojia ya Biblia. And today we are touching the attributes of God. Leo tunagusa sifa za Mungu. The word attribute means the inherent characteristics of God or of some someone inamaanisha ni ile sifa na tabia ya mtu inherent characteristics of of someone sifa na tabia ya mtu ambayo anakuwa nazo mean the quality or of someone or something sifa ya mtu au kitu so this uh, the study of the attributes of god fundo kuhusu sifa za mungu will let us know his quality and his characteristics itatusaidia kujua tabia zake na sifa zake by studying these attributes we will answer the question that many people ask kwa kujifunza hili tutajibu maswali ambayo watu wengi wanauliza what is god like mungu yukoje au Mungu anafanana naje God's attributes are God himself na sifa za Mungu ni Mungu mwenyewe He does not just possess these qualities sio tu kwamba anazo tu hizi sifa God is all that he has Mungu ni jinsi vile alivyo God has life Mungu ana maisha He has light ana nuru He has wisdom ana hekima He has love ana upendo God has righteousness ana haki and therefore na kwa hiyo we can proudly say that tuweza tukasema kwa kujivunia kwamba God is life Mungu is is life ni maisha God is wisdom Mungu ni hekima God is righteousness Mungu ni haki and God is love na Mungu ni upendo God is not like a man Mungu sio kama mtu composed of different parts ambaye ameumbwa kwa sehemu mbalimbali these characteristics 
reveal to us some aspect of the being of God. Hallelujah. Who is eternally perfect? This is the study of God. The divine attributes can be divided into two distinct groups. Number one is the natural attributes of God. And number two is moral attributes of God. So let us start with with the natural attributes of God. The natural attributes of God are characteristics of God. And are connected to the very essence of who God is really is. Na imeunganishwa kwa jinsi ambavyo Mungu alivyo. The natural attributes of God, zile tabia za Mungu za asili, are characteristics of God. Ni tabia za Mungu. And they are connected to the very essence of who God really is. Na inaunganika kwa ile kabisa nafsi kwamba Mungu ni nani. These characteristics belong to God alone. Na hizi sifa ni za Mungu peke yake. No created being share them. Hakuna mwanamtu yeyote aliyeumbwa au kiumbe chochote kinachoshiriki hizi tabia. This is the essence of who God is. Hii inaonesha ule uhalisia wa Mungu kama Mungu. He alone has these natural attributes. Yeye peke yake ndiye anazo hizi sifa za asili za Mungu. God the Father Mungu Baba, God the Son, Mungu Mwana, and God the Holy Spirit. Mungu Roho Mtakatifu. They share these same same attributes. Wote wanashirikiana hizi sifa. Because they are God. Kwa sababu ni Mungu. The Father is God. Mungu uh, Baba ni Mungu. The Son is God. Mwana ni Mungu. And the Holy Spirit is God. Na Roho Mtakatifu ni Mungu. This is what we believe. Na iki ndicho tunacho kiamini. This is our faith. Na hii ndio imani yetu. Not three gods. Hatuna miungu mitatu. There are not three gods. Hawako kama miungu watatu. God the Father, Mungu Baba is God. Ni Mungu. The Son, Mwana is God. Ni Mungu. And uh, the Holy Spirit Roho Mtakatifu is God ni Mungu. Not three gods. Hatuna miungu watatu. Not three manifestations of God. Hatuna uzirisho wa aina tatu ya Mungu. Teaching that there is a three manifestations of God is heresy. Ya mafundisho yanayofundisha kwa Mungu anajifunua katika ajizilisha katika katika maneno matatu ni uongo. We believe in one god in three persons tunaamini mungu mmoja katika nafsi tatu that is what we call trinity hicho ndio tunachokiita utatu i will study more about trinity in our future classes nitaelezea kuhusu utatu katika madarasa yetu yanayokuja so let us start our study on the natural attributes of god sifa za asili za mungu tuanze na hapo get ready to know god anza kujua tayari kumjua mungu hallelujah hallelujah are you ready uko tayari natural attributes of god sifa za asili za mungu number one. la kwanza god is omnipresent mungu ni omnipresent 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 god is omnipresent mungu ni omnipresent God is everywhere. Mungu yupo kila mahali. Everywhere present at the same time. Yuko kila mahali kwa wakati mmoja. This is our God. Huyu ndiye Mungu wetu. There are scriptures prove this fact. Na maandiko yanathibitisha ukweli huu. Psalm Zaburi chapter 139. Zaburi 169. You will read there the whole chapter. Utasoma sura yote pale. 
and Deuteronomy chapter 4 na kumbukumbu la Torati sura ya 4 verse 39 na mstari wa 39 let's go to Deuteronomy twende kwenye kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati haleluya nne kumbukumbu la Torati sura ya 4 are you there umefika hapo verse 39 na mstari wa 39 the bible says biblia inasema Therefore know this day kwa kwa, and, kwa hiyo ujue leo hivi and consider it in your heart ukaweke moyoni mwako that the lord himself is god ya kuwa bwana ndiye mungu in heaven above and on the earth katika beneath. mbingu juu na katika nchi chini there is no other hapana mwingine hallelujah hallelujah omnipresent Mungu yupo kila mahali kwa wakati mmoja everywhere at the same time kila mahali kwa wakati mmoja he is omnipresent ye yupo kila mahali kwa wakati mmoja demons people angels ama pepo mashetani malaika na watu and even satan himself hata shetani mwenyewe are just created being ni wame viumbe vilivyoumbwa and are subject to limitations na wana mipaka god alone is omnipresent mungu peke yake ndo omnipresent he is god yeye ni mungu and he is everywhere na yupo kila mahali today he is here leo yuko hapa today is in america leo yuko marekani today is in germany leo yuko ujerumani we human being we are limited lakini sisi wanadamu tuna mipaka we can only be found at one place at, at one time tunaweza kupatikana tu sehemu moja kwa wakati mmoja today we have apostle mark with us here leo tuna apostle mtume mark pamoja na sisi hapa he is all the way from germany ametokea ujerumani but today he is not in germany lakini leo hayuko ujerumani today he is in dar es salaam tanzania yupo dar es salaam tanzania tegeta a goba tegeta a goba He is nowhere to be found in Germany right now. Hakuna jinsi atapatikana Ujerumani sasa hivi. He is not God. Yeye sio Mungu. He is not omnipresent. Yeye sio omnipresent. I want to teach you about our, this God. Nataka kufundisha kuhusu Mungu wetu. He is everywhere. Yupo kila mahali. He is in Germany right now. Yuko Ujerumani sasa hivi. He is in Tanzania right now. Yuko Tanzania sasa hivi. He is in America right now. Yuko Marekani sasa hivi. And he is in Kazura Mimba where I I grew up right na, now. Na yuko Kazura Mimba ambapo nimekuwa sasa hivi Oh my God Oh Mungu wangu You can't compare God with any creature Uwezi kumfananisha uh, Mungu na kiumbe kingine chochote God alone is omnipresent Mungu peke yake ni omnipresent There is not and there cannot be anything beyond apart from God Hakuna mtu au kitu kingine zaidi ya Mungu God is not uh, partly present to any given place Mungu ayuko kwa sehemu tu mahali fulani We understand that he may manifest or reveal his presence presence in different ways at different times we understand that Tunajua kwamba anaweza akajifunua kudirisha ye mwenyewe mahali fulani kwa wakati maalumu hilo tunalielewa But he is wholly present in every place lakini yupo kila mahali katika sehemu wakati mmoja and fully aware of all that happens na ye anajua kila kinachoendelea job uh, ayubu chapter 22 Ayubu 22 verse 12 Ayubu 22 12 The Bible says Biblia inasema God is not God in the high of heavens 22 verse verse 12 ah uh, kwa 22 12 anasema je Mungu ayuko mbinguni juu and the see the highest stars how lovely they are tena tazama umbali wa nyota jinsi zilivyo juu hallelujah hallelujah god is everywhere Mungu yupo kila mahali god is really good Mungu ni mzuri verse 13 mstari wa 13 And you say what does God know? Na unasema Mungu anajua nini? 
can he judge through the deeps darkness je aweza kuamua kati ya giza kuu thick cloud cover him mawingu mazito ni kifuniko chake so what he cannot see hata asione so that he cannot see ili hata asione and he walks above the cycles of heaven naye utembea juu ya kuba ya mbingu hallelujah hallelujah he is everywhere yupo kila mahali right now is in heaven sasa hivi yuko mbinguni he is on earth yupo duniani he is under the earth yuko chini ya dunia he is everywhere kila mahali yupo there's no place you cannot find god hakuna mahali ambapo uwezi kumpata mungu that is his attribute hiyo ndio sifa yake the natural attribute sifa zake ya asili he is everywhere yupo kila mahali hallelujah hallelujah job 26 ayub 26 and verse 2 na mstari wa 2 how have you helped him who is without power jinsi ulivyomsaidia huyu asiye na uwezo how have you saved the arm that has no strength jinsi ulivyokuwa mkono usio na nguvu hallelujah hallelujah our god is everywhere mungu wetu yupo kila mahali and he can do anything aweza kufanya kitu chochote in his power katika uwezo wake someone say amen mtu mmoja aseme amen hallelujah hallelujah God is in heaven. Mungu yuko mbinguni. God is on earth. Yuko duniani. He is aware of everything that is going on. Anajua kila kitu ambacho kinachoendelea. Heaven is the place where at the present at the present time the presence of God and the glory of God is especially and visibly manifested. Mbinguni sasa hivi ni mahali ambapo Mungu uwepo wake na, na, na utukufu wake unazirika kwa sasa. God the Father is especially manifested in heaven. Mungu Baba anazirishwa mbinguni. And God the Son has especially manifested on the earth. Na pia Mungu Mwana alizirishwa duniani. God the Holy Spirit is manifested everywhere. Na Roho Mtakatifu amezirika kila mahali. Everywhere. Kila mahali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is omnipresent. Mungu yupo kila mahali. The omnipresence of God is powerful. Na uwepo wa Mungu kila mahali ni una nguvu. He understands. Anaelewa. He loves. Anapenda. He cares for us. Anatujali. He cares for us so deeply. Anatujali sana. He is everywhere. Yupo kila mahali. At the same time. Kwa wakati mmoja. He is available at all places at once. Anapatikana kila mahali mara moja. That is our God. Huyo ndiye Mungu wetu. Only present God. Mungu anayepatikana kila mahali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why there is churches everywhere. Ndio maana kuna makanisa kila mahali. Local churches. Makanisa ya mahali. Where people worship him mahali ambapo watu wanamwabudu Mungu without gathering one place at the, the all, whole world bila kukutanyika sehemu moja duniani kote he is everywhere Mungu yupo kila mahali he start he establish the local churches anaimarisha makanisa mahali pamoja so pamuja. that he can be revealed every day ili aweze kuzirishwa kila siku so that we can see his glory every day ile siku kana utukufu wake kila siku all continents mabara yote god is available mungu anapatikana hallelujah hallelujah so stick to your local church kaa kwenye kanisa lako la mahali pamoja do his work at your local church fanya kazi yake mahali pamoja mahali pamoja do the ministry at your local church fanya huduma katika kanisa lako because the same god who is in america mungu yule yule aliyoko kule marekani the same god who is at your local church ndio mungu yule yule yuko kwenye kanisa lako when you serve him unapomtumikia he sees you anakuona when you cry unapolia he knows he sees you anakuona na anakuona god is everywhere mungu yupo kila mahali that's good things about our god na hivyo ndio vitu vizuri kuhusu mungu wetu our god is everywhere mungu wetu yuko kila mahali someone say omni present mtu mmoja aseme omni present say omni present sema omni present it means he is everywhere inamaanisha yupo kila mahali you don't forget this attribute of god usisahau hiyo sifa ya mungu this is natural attribute ni sifa za asili za mungu he is everywhere yupo kila mahali when you find yourself traveled 
You are not at your local church. You are in another region or another country. When you go to the church that they believe in the Bible, where they teach sound doctrine, worship there. We will see God there because He is everywhere. The same God you worship at your local church. In the same God at that new local church you have gone. He is God of everyone. Hallelujah. God is really good God. Hallelujah. 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 The omnipresence of God is powerful and a blessed truth. He understands. Anaelewa. He loves, Anapenda. he cares for us, Anatujali. he is everywhere at the same time, and he is available at all places at once. That's why I enjoy to serve the Lord, because everywhere I find myself in, I know God is there. When I go to America, I worship Him in spirit and in truth. When I go to Germany, I worship Him in spirit and in truth because He is omnipresent God who is everywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Idols cannot be found everywhere. They don't save, they don't they don't act. Satan is not omnipresent. Human beings are not omnipresent. So this is first attribute of God. The natural one. Ask your neighbor, do you know the uh, the attribute of attributes of God? Ask your neighbor and tell your neighbor to tell you one. Which is number one? Which is number one? Sifa attribute ya, ya of God. Ya mungu ni ipi. Tell your neighbor which is it. Ni ipi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Omnipresent. Hallelujah. Omnipresent. He is everywhere. Yupo kila he is even in your kitchen. Yupo kwa. He is even in your farm when you go to farm. Yupo mwako to those who are fishermen, he, he is there in the, everywhere you find God. Wale wanavua. Yupo kila we can pray at any place. We come to church because he ordered it to be so. But in the issue of prayers, like we can pray anywhere because God is everywhere. Somebody say amen. Attributes number two. Natural attribute is God is omniscient. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is omniscient. Mungu wetu ni omniscient. This uh, God is all knowing God. Mungu anajua kila kitu. He is the all knowing God. Ni Mungu anayejua kila kitu. Tell your neighbor omniscient. Mwambie jirani yako omniscient. The all knowing God. Mungu anayejua kila kitu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He knows everything. Anajua kila kitu. He is all knowledge. Ana maarifa yote. He knows everything. Anajua kila kitu. God understanding is unlimited. Na there is nothing that is not known to God. Everything is open to God. Everything is known to God. He sees everywhere. He sees everything that occurs in every place and keeps watch upon the evil and the good. Anaona kila kinachoendelea katika kila mahali ndio macho yake yapo kuangalia mema na mabaya. He knows everything in nature. Anajua kila kitu cha asili. He counts every star. Anahesabu kila nyota. He knows every sparrow. 
Anajua kila ndege. He knows every word that we speak. Anajua kila maneno tunayoongea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every thought is known to him. Kila mawazo yajulikana kwake. This is God we are talking about. Huyu ndiye Mungu tunayemzungumzia. This is the God we, are, we, 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 we preach. Huyu ndiye Mungu tunayemhubiri. The book of Exodus. Kitabu cha kutoka. Chapter 3 and verse 7. Ah, uh, tatu mstari wa saba. God said to Moses, Mungu alimwambia Musa, I have surely seen the oppression of my people. Hakika nimeona mateso ya watu wangu. Who are in Egypt? Walioko Misri. I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt. Hakika nimeona mateso ya watu wangu walioko Misri. How did he see? Ameonaje? Was God in Egypt? Je, Mungu alikuwa yuko Misri? What happened? Kitu gani kilitokea? And he is saying have I have surely seen. Kama anasema kwa hakika nimeona. Was he there? Alikuwa pale? The answer is yes. Ndio jibu. He was there. Alikuwa pale. Because he knows everything. Anajua kila kitu. Remember he is everywhere. Kumbuka yuko kila mahali. And he sees everything. Anaona kila kitu. He knows everything. Anajua kila kitu. And also he said he, he told Moses Akamwambia Musa I have heard their cry because of the taskmasters Nimesikia kilio chao kwa sababu ya wasimamizi wao Listen to this last point Sikiliza hii uh, point ya mwisho For I know their sorrows Najua masikitiko yao For I know their sorrows. Najua masikitiko yao. You might be in your room crying. Unaweza kukaa chumbani kwako unalia. God is there. Mungu yuko hapo. He knows your sorrows. Anajua huzuni zako. He knows what you're passing through. Anajua unapitia nini. He knows what you need. Anajua unahitaji nini. So stop crying. Acha kulia. Start talking to God. Anza kuongea na Mungu. Stop crying. Acha kulia. Start talking to him. Anza kuongea na Mungu. Because he knows what is happening. Anajua kinachotokea. He's waiting for you to depend on him. Anakungoja umtegemee. To tell God. Kumwambia Mungu. Here I am. Niko hapa. Help me. Nisaidie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He knows what is happening around A- the world. Anajua kinachoendelea duniani kote. This is our God. Ni Mungu wetu. Omniscient. Mungu omniscient. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's knowledge is part of his own nature. Na uelewa uh, uh, wa Mungu au maarifa ya Mungu ni sehemu ya asili yake. It is complete and absolute. Iko kamili na iko sahihi. He does not need an eye witness. Ahitaji mtu shahidi kuwa kuwa shahidi. When he judge <laughs> anapo hukumu haleluya haleluya he knows everything anajua kila kitu and his his judgment are just na hukumu zake ni za za haki he is a fair judge yeye ni, ni jaji ambaye yuko sawa the book of genesis kitabu cha kutoka cha mwanzo chapter 18 mstari sura ya 18 and verse 25 na mstari wa 25 He is called the judge of all the earth. Anaitwa ni, ni mhukumu wa dunia yote. Who judges right? Anayehukumu kwa haki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Omniscient. Omniscient. God knows the end from the beginning. Mungu anajua mwisho tangia mwanzo. The all knowing God. Mungu anayejua kila kitu. This is his natural attribute. Hii ni sifa yake ya asili. The whole plan of ages and each individuals in it has been known to God. Kila mipango ya mwanadamu imejulikana kwa Mungu. From all eternity. Kuanzia milele yote. God is the beginning. Mungu ni mwanzo. Is the beginning of time? Ni mwanzo wa wakati. God is the end. Na Mungu ni mwisho. And at the end of time. Na mwisho wa wakati. And because he is outside of time, na kwa sababu yuko nje ya muda, afungi na muda, he sees the whole spectrum of time at once. Anaona ule mtiriko wa muda kuanzia mwanzo. 
He therefore knows the end from the beginning. Kwa anajua mwisho kuanzia mwanzo. What a mighty God we serve. Tunamtumikia Mungu mkuu kiasi He knows the end from the beginning. Anajua mwisho tangia mwanzo. What a mighty God we have. Tunaye Mungu mkuu kiasi gani? He knows even your future. Anajua hatima yako. And he can even change your future. Pia anaweza kubadilisha hatima yako. He knows what to do. Anajua kile anachokifanya. No one can teach God. Hakuna mtu anaweza kumfundisha Mungu. That's why when Jesus came on earth. Ndio maana Yesu alipokuwa duniani. People wondered. Watu walishangaa. What a manner of this man. Huyu mtu ni jinsi gani? He teaches so powerful. Anafundisha kwa nguvu. And so wonderful. Na kwa ajabu. No one taught him. No one taught him. Hakuna aliyemfundisha. But he teaches things that we can never imagine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know why? Because Jesus is God. And he share this attribute. He is the all-knowing God. He teaches out of his knowledge. He, he doesn't get his knowledge from any university. Someone say amen. He is the all knowing God. Ni Mungu anayejua yote. Tell your neighbor my God is the all knowing God. Mwambie jirani yako Mungu wangu anajua kila kitu. Tell your neighbor The all knowing God. Mungu anajua kila kitu. He is all knowledge. Ana maarifa yote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God the beginning of time. Mungu ana mwanzo wa nyakati. the end of time. Na mwisho wa nyakati. He is really good God. Ni Mungu mzuri. Therefore because he sees everything, kwa sababu anaona kila kitu, therefore he knows everything. Kwa hiyo anajua kila kitu. He even knows the end from the beginning. Anajua mwisho tangu mwanzo. And he is able to intervene in any situation or any circumstances. Anaweza kuingilia kila mazingira na kila kitu according to his will kutokana na mapenzi yake hallelujah 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 his foreknowledge enables him to know what our future ought to be kule kutambua kwake kwa kwa awali kuna mpa kujua hatima yetu ni nini and what is hindering us na nini kinachotuzuia he also knows how to make us overcome those hindrances na pia anajua jinsi ya kutazia kuweza kushinda hivyo vikwazo our god is real god mungu wetu ni mungu halisi real good god mungu mzuri sana serious god hallelujah mungu ampaya na maanisha hallelujah i'm glad i'm serving the living god inashukuru mungu na mtukia mungu aliye hai hallelujah hallelujah the omni Omnipresent. 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 And omniscient. Na omniscient. This is our God. Huyu ni Mungu wetu. Satan is a created being. Shetani ni kiumbe kilichoumbwa. And uh, limited. Na ana mipaka. He may not be sub- subject to exactly the same limitations as human being. Anaweza asiwe na mipaka kama ya mwanadamu but he has no idea what god may change at any time hajui kwamba mungu anaweza kubadilisha nini katika wakati gani which affects our whole timeline ambaye inaweza ikaathiri muda wetu wote he only knows what he sees at any given moment anajua tu kile anachokiona kwa wakati that's why clairvoyants at time appear to have knowledge of the future Come again. Those clear voyants. What's that? Those wa, wa, wa aguzi, those okay. which is. Wale wa aguzi wa mama juice wale. Those wa aguzi wana. Wa aguzi ambao wana wana wanagua wana wanaweza kujua uh, mambo ya mbele au wana gym. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They men uh, appear to have knowledge of the future. Wanaweza wakawa waka, na maarifa ya, ya mambo ya mbele but it is very limited lakini wana mipaka because our future listen to this our future is subject to change kwa sababu <laughs> hatima zetu zinabadilika as god sees fit na mungu anapoiona 
hatima yetu. The devil don't know you. Shetani hakujui. He sees you of today. Anakuona wewe wa leo. But God knows the whole you. Lakini Mungu anakujua wewe kama ulivyo. And he can change you according to his will. Anaweza akakubadilisha wewe kulingana na mapenzi yake. So you can do his will. Yeye aweze kufanya mapenzi yake. He changed his soul on, Alim- the, on his way to Damascus. Alimbalisha Sauli alipokuwa anaenda Damaski. On his way to Damaski. Alipokuwa anakwenda Damaski. God changed the soul. Mungu alimbalisha Sauli from a criminal kutoka kuwa mwalifu to become a preacher na akaja kuwa muupi. All the word hallelujah. Wa, waneno, What you are doing today? Uh, may not be your future life inaweza sio kwenye hatima yako ya baadaye what you are doing today may not be your future life inaweza sio ndio hatima ya maisha yako god can change you at any time mungu anaweza akakubadilisha kwa wakati wote from nobody to somebody kutoka kutokuwa kitu mpaka kuwa kitu going from going nowhere to going somewhere kutoka kutokwenda popote kwenda mahali fulani someone say amen mmoja aseme amen someone say amen. Amen. Aseme, amen. Nobody can tell who you are. Hakuna anaweza akasema wewe ni nani. Only God knows your future. Mungu peke yake anajua hatima yako. Devil cannot tell you who you are. Shetani anaweza kukuambia wewe ni nani. That's why I keep on arguing of those who keeps on telling the people, "Oh, you are which you are cursed. You are so and so." Ndio maana niko kinyume na wale watu naambia wewe ni mchawi. Wewe ume, ume, umelogwa. Wewe uko hivi na hivi. There is something good in those people you see today. Kuna vitu vizuri kwa wale watu naoona leo. I say there is something in you. Hallelujah. Kuna kitu ndani mwako. Hallelujah. That the devil does not know. Na shetani hajui. Your father does not know. Baba yako hajui. Your parents keep on insult you. Na wale ndugu zako wanao kudharau. One day my, my my mom told me Wakati moja mama yangu aliniambia Look what you jiangalie hilo You die poor utakufa maskini You never go anywhere <laughs> au tena popote But one day my mom before he died before Lakis, she died Lakini siku moja mama yangu kabla hajafa She told me akaniambia Oh one day I told you that you will be poor Look now, you are the one who is helping me. <laughs> oh, so I did not know you. <laughs> But God knows you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody knows you. But omniscient. Lakini omniscient. 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 Knows you. He knows your past. Anajua he, nyuma kwako. He knows your present. Anajua hapa ulipo. And he knows your future. Na anajua hatima yako. Someone say amen. Tumoja aseme amen. I said someone say amen. Tumoja aseme amen. Only God possesses unlimited knowledge of past, present and future. Mungu peke yake ndio anamiliki ile maarifa ya kujua jana yako leo yako na kesho yako his name is i am jina lake ni i am niko ha- hallelujah ni- hallelujah his name is i am jina lake ni niko omniscient omniscient omnipresent uh, omnipresent tell your neighbor omnipresent mwambie jana yako omnipresent he is everywhere yupo kila mahali omniscient omniscient the all knowing god mungu anayejua kila kitu all knowledge ana maarifa yote hallelujah hallelujah he sees you anakuona he knows you anakujua that's why nobody can tell me hakuna mtu anaweza akaniambia what i will become tomorrow kwamba mimi nitakuwa nani kesho only god knows mungu peke yake ndiye anayejua i keep on following god naendea kumfuata mungu to show me whom am I, i am really ah kunaonesha mimi ni nani kiasi am really is kwamba mimi ni nani god is really good god mungu ni mungu mzuri hallelujah hallelujah have you noticed who you really are je umejitambua wewe ni nani i want to tell you nataka nikuambie god knows who you are mungu anakujua wewe ni nani someone say amen tumoja aseme amen Someone shout and say amen. Tumoja pia kelea aseme amen. God is a really good God. Mungu ni Mungu mzuri. He is everywhere. Yupo kila mahali. 
Haleluya. Haleluya. And he knows everything. Anajua kila kitu. He sees everything. Anaona kila kitu. He knows even your thought. Anajua hata mawazo yako. What you are thinking right U, now? Unafikiria nini sasa hivi? God knows. Mungu anajua. One day I I said here in the church that we don't know anyone here because the thought kwa sabu, the thought is the person kwa sabu, ma, mawazo is the thought is the person the the, the person ah, kwa sabu, mawazo ndio mtu because we don't know what you are thinking and then, therefore we don't know you kwa hiyo hatukujui but you know who knows you na kila jua anakujua the omniscient omniscient he knows everything anajua kila kitu even your thoughts right now hata mawazo yako sasa hivi you can be quiet mwanzo kwa kimya and thinking na unafikiria and you will not know what you think na hatujui unafikiria nini You know the day that woman of our church in Kinyerezi was shot. Unajua wakati ule mwanamke wakati ya kanisa letu alipopigwa risasi Kinyerezi. These people called him and they were talking to to her. They they called her and they were talking to her. Hao watu walimuita na wakawa wanaongea naye about doing business kufanya biashara pamoja they want to hire some of the place so that they can put their business wataka wapangishe sehemu waweke biashara yao and because she is not omniscient kwa sababu alikuwa si omniscient she did not know what they think akujua alikuwa anafikiria nini only to find that they had gun with them wakaja kushangaa tu walikuwa na risasi so all of the sudden they took gun and shot her kwa wakachukua ghafla bunduki wakampiga you know we don't know people atawajui watu because we are limited kwa sababu tuna mipaka but god knows even what you think lakini mungu anajua hata kile unachokifikiri that's greatness of god huo ndio ukuu wa mungu his natural attributes hiyo ni sifa yake ya asili omnipresent omnipresent omniscient omniscient and number 3 number 3 God is om, 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 omnipotent. Mungu ni omnipotent. 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 This is where his powerful actions come from. Hapa ndipo zile nguvu zake zinapotokea. Omnipotence means all powerful. Omnipotent inamaanisha ana nguvu zote. God has power to do anything without limitations Mungu ana nguvu ya kufanya kile kitu bila kuwa na mipaka Did you hear that Umesikia hiyo He is able to do anything without limitations Anaweza kufanya kile chochote bila kuwa na mipaka He can accomplish anything that we that he wish or he wills Anaweza kufanya kila kitu anachotaka Whatever God declares his intention he will he is well capable of doing it kila kitu Mungu atakitangaza na kila kitu Mungu anachokitaka ana uwezo wa kukikamilisha Numbers 23 ah uh, hesabu 23 verse 19 19 God is not a man that he should lie Mungu si mtu hata aseme uongo No a son of man that he should repent Wala si mwanadamu hata ajute He has said and will will he not do amesema je hata litimiza oh has he spoken and will he make it good na ameongea je hata fanya liwe zuri i like it in niv napenda kwenye kita, kwenye niv in niv says katika niv inasema god is not a man that he should lie mungu si mtu hata aseme uongo no a son of man that he should change his mind hata mwanadamu aweze kubadilisha nia yake does he speak and then not act je anaongea na asitende Does he promise and not fulfill? Je, anaahidi na asitimize? Let me ask you a question. Ngoja nikuulize swali. Is there anything you think God cannot do? Je, kuna kitu ambacho unafikiri Mungu hawezi kufanya? Is there anything you think God is not able to do? Je, kuna kitu unafikiri Mungu hawezi kufanya? The answer is absolutely not. Jibu ni hapana. But another question. Swali lingine. Is there anything God will will, will not do? Je kuna kitu ambacho Mungu atafanya? 
There, is there anything God will not do? Je, kuna kitu ambacho Mungu hatafanya? The answer is yes. Jibu ni ndio. He will not do anything contrary to his nature. Hawezi kufanya kitu chochote ambacho kikinyume na asili yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will not do anything that is contrary to his nature. Hawezi kufanya kitu chochote ambacho kikinyume na asili yake. If we are faithless kama sisi sio waaminifu if we are faithless kama sisi sio waaminifu he will remain faithful atabakia muaminifu for he cannot disown himself kwa sababu hawezi kujikana mwenyewe he cannot disown himself hawezi kujikana mwenyewe he is almighty god yeye ni mungu mwenye uweza and in hebrew is el shaddai katika kibrania ni el shaddai someone say amen God is really powerful God. Mungu ni Mungu mwenye nguvu. He is able to accomplish things that you will you, you have never imagined before. Even Satan is under the control of God. Hata shetani yuko chini ya utawala wa Mungu. And has no power over any God's children. Na ana mamlaka juu ya watoto wa Mungu. I repeat, has no power He has no mungu. power ana ma, ana over any believer juu ya muamini yote over any child of god juu ya mtoto wote wa mungu listen satan had to ask permission shetani atakuwa aombe ruksa he had to ask permission alitajika kuomba ruksa to challenge peter's faith ili kuleta changamoto kwenye 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 imani ya petro you will look Uh, you read Luke chapter 22 utasoma Luka 22 and verse 31 na 31 paka 32 he had to ask permission alitajika aombe ruksa he had to ask permission alitajika kuomba ruksa to challenge the the faith of peter kumpa peter changamoto katika imani yake when we come tomorrow tukija kesho We will start from there. Tutaanzia hapo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. Remember, kumbuka God is omnipresent. Mungu ni omnipresent. Omniscient. Omniscient. Omnipotent. Omnipotent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Sema na mimi. Omnipresent. Omnipresent. Omniscient. Omniscient. Omnipotent. Omnipotent. God bless you so Mungu much. Mungu akubariki sana. Amen. Amen.